Welcome to the video tutorial for the Strike 7 software suite. This video will introduce you to the software features and their functionality. The software can be launched from the system tray icon. Sometimes the icon may be hidden on Windows 7, so simply drag and drop it into a more convenient place. To launch the software, click the Strike 7 icon and then left click Profile Editor. The software will open on the product tab, providing you with a summary of its functions, version numbers and a quick link to our blog. The software also contains tabs for programming, launcher and support. The programming page allows you to program keyboard key presses and macros to the programmable buttons on the Strike 7. In addition, you can also assign icons to the macro commands programmed to the Venom panel. This area tells you what profile is currently open for editing. These buttons indicate which profile mode is selected for editing. Profiles are divided into modes to enable each button to have multiple functions assigned to them. Press the mode buttons to the side of the screen to select the part of the profile that you want to edit. These buttons enable you to load existing profiles for editing and test your button assignments. These buttons allow you to select each programmable area of the keyboard. This button takes you to the icon editing page. More on this later. When you have finished your profile, clicking this button will activate your button programming on the device. To make a simple assignment such as 1 for item 1, Click inside the button call light to activate the programming cursor. Press 1 on your keyboard. Click the green tick to accept the command and then type the name of the command. Hit enter to confirm. Once you've made a command you can move it from button to button. To do this, click the menu triangle and then click unprogrammed. Then, click the menu triangle of the desired button call light and left click the command name from the menu. For more complex commands such as selecting an action bar using the keyboard combo SHIFT2, it is best to use the advanced command feature. To do this, click the menu triangle and select advanced command. Give the command a name and then click inside the press area. Using your keyboard, perform the keyboard command exactly as you would do in game. It is important to do this because the editor will record both the down and up presses of your keyboard keys. Clicking the macro box will cause the command to be output as soon as the program button is pressed. Otherwise, you will have to hold the button down for the duration of the command. If you want to speed things up, right click inside the press box and select quantize time. Now enter the desired delay between each down and up component and click OK. Any commands in the repeat box will be output if the program button is held down. Any commands in the release box will be output when the program button is released. Click OK to accept the command. Now that a command has been assigned to the Venom panel, an icon can be associated to it. To do this, click the Edit Icons button. The Edit Icons page will display all of your current programming for the Venom panel. Your assigned commands will appear as basic icons here. Hovering over it will display the command name assigned earlier. To add an icon to the command, left click the command so that it is highlighted. Next, select one of the icons from the list. Then select a background. To remove your selection, click the cross to the top left of the icon. We have also included the option to import your own images to be used on the panel. Click Import Image and browse to your desired image file. Select it and it will be added to the icon list. It can then be added using the method just described.
If you are not happy with the position of a command, then you do not need to go back to the Edit Commands page to change it. All three modes can be accessed on this page. You can also right click on each icon area to reveal the commands that you have created for this profile. To remove a command, right click on the icon and select Unprogrammed. Then, click on the desired area and select the command from the list. When you are happy with your profile, save your progress. Icons are linked directly to the commands that you have made. If you loaded up your profile on another PC, all the icons and commands will be in the correct position as you would expect. If you ever need to be reminded of the process, hover your cursor over the question mark for a refresher course. You can also check that your commands are working correctly by opening the test screen. The test function will also load the icon to the macro page on the Venom panel. Once saved, your profile will appear in the Strike menu. To activate the profile, left-click the profile name. The Strike icon will glow green when a profile is active. To deactivate a profile, click the menu icon and then click Clear Profile. The Launcher app allows you to launch games, programs and websites from the touchscreen. This area is used for browsing your PC, entering web URLs, and program directory paths and also provides a preview of a selected icon. This area gives a current overview of what icons are assigned to the launcher app. To assign a program, left click an empty icon to highlight it. Next, locate the desired program from the list and left click it to assign. If your program icon does not appear in the list, Click the Browse button and then locate and import the icon from the folder into the preview area. Click an empty icon and then click the icon in the preview area to assign it. To add a website, click inside the text box. Enter the URL and then press enter on your keyboard. When the website icon appears, click an empty icon space and then click the icon in the preview area to assign it. When you are happy with your launcher assignments, click the apply button to send them down to the Venom panel. If you ever need to be reminded of the process, hover your cursor over the question mark for a refresher course. The support page contains a number of useful links, including drivers and software, game profiles, a detailed manual and our contacts page.